This right here is an AI chatbot powered by Apple Intelligence. The only issue is, Apple hasn't released an AI chatbot yet. But that's not an issue any longer since I decided to take matters into my own hands and just make it myself. Apple is known for their walled garden. Everything that happens on their products must follow their rules. Their new AI system, Apple Intelligence, is no different. There's no API to directly access the models, and effectively no way for developers to integrate the models in their own apps to make something like a chatbot. However, through a little bit of automation magic and some strategic prompt injection, that's not a roadblock that we can't remove. My plan to create an AI chatbot with Apple Intelligence had two major steps. First, figure out how to automate calling Apple Intelligence writing tool commands with code. In other words, making an API for Apple Intelligence. These writing tools are powered by Apple's LLMs, the closest thing that we have to an Apple chatbot, but alone, they merely rewrite or summarize text. That's where the second step comes in. We have to prompt inject these commands in a way to force them to act like a chatbot. These two steps work in theory, but the question now is, could I implement them? First, let's take a closer look at how writing tools work. For example, in the Apple Notes app, we can type some text, click the writing tools button, and select a command. In this video, we will be exclusively using the rewrite command, since prompt injection seems to work the best with it. Clicking it, Apple Intelligence then automatically edits our text in place. If we wanted to automate this process, one method of going about it would be to figure out how to access the system functions that are responsible for Apple Intelligence. However, this would be difficult as it would require finding out and somehow calling that logic deep in macOS. And to be frankly honest, I wasn't in the mood for that. So instead, I used a much simpler solution, system automation. Essentially, if we could recreate the exact series of action that we used to trigger the writing tools in Apple Notes using code, it would work as an API. In this video, I'll be using AppleScript, a native and very simple way to automate macOS. Let's try to simulate the entire process that we used to trigger the rewrite command. First, we'll have to open the Notes app. Then we'll make a new note with a specified header and body content and open it. Next, we have to manipulate the selection with a series of arrow key movements and commands to select the body content of the note, which is the text that we want to rewrite. Then, instead of using the writing tools menu, which we can't easily select with AppleScript, I'll just use the menu bar option for rewrite, which we can easily automate. Now that we have the writing tools triggered, we have to somehow be able to detect it when it has finished rewriting. This was quite difficult, as again, I couldn't access content in a writing tools pop-up with AppleScript. Thus, I had to work with just detecting updates and the selected text. In the end, I decided to check the selected text by copying it every second and comparing it to the initial text until it's different. When it no longer matches, the writing tools must have finished. Now, I can simply return the clipboard content, which contains the modified text. Finally, I also had to delete the note that we created for this process, close the notes window, and restore focus onto the initial window the user was on, which we can store in a variable at the start. Here's what the final Apple script looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's running in real time. Note that a downside for this is that during the execution, you can't use your computer or it might break things. But if that means I don't have to dig through macOS system files to find the Apple intelligence functions, I think it's a sacrifice worth making. Now that we have automated writing tools, we have to somehow use these tools to simulate chatbot behavior. This is where prompt injection comes into play. Our goal is to trick the writing tools to act like a chatbot with a cleverly engineered prompt. Of course, it's not meant for this purpose, so it won't be as good as a chatbot like ChatGPT. But in the end, both ChatGPT and writing tools are powered by LLMs, so it should still work. If you want to learn more about how these prompt injections work, I heavily recommend checking out my Apple Intelligence prompt injection video, which is in the top right corner right now. But in this video, I'll be using a slightly modified version of Redditor's most gooders rendition of my original original injection as theirs appear to work quite reliably. With this current prompt injection, we can put a query at the end and by clicking rewrite, get a single answer to our query. Notice that if it wasn't prompt injected, it would simply rephrase my query and not give me a response. What we have now is perhaps an AI bot at best but it's still missing the chat part of the chatbot. We still need to somehow send messages back and forth to the AI. In order to implement chat history with an AI to which we can only send one message, we have to store the entire conversation in our prompt and essentially send it to a new instance of the AI every time we have a new query. In implementation, every single time we ask something, we will append our query to the prompt and send it to our AI. After it gives a response, the response will automatically be appended to the end of the prompt as context. Then when the user prompts again, the cycle continues. While this may seem inefficient, a similar process is actually going on under the hood with most chatbots. It's just hidden behind a nice UI so you'll never notice it. 
Now with a bit of tweaking around with the prompt, here's the final setup that I ended up with. We start with a system tag telling the AI that it's a helpful assistant conversing with a user, and that it should always answer the user's queries and questions. Then each message back and forth is perpended with either a user or assistant message header so the model knows who's talking. Whenever the user passes a query, it adds the proper header and the user query to the end of the prompt, and also puts the assistant header so that the AI knows to write its response. As described before, after we receive an AI response, we append it to the end again, and rinse and repeat. Now that we have all of the pieces in place, we have to actually implement all of this in one coherent program for a chatbot. I'll be writing this chatbot as a CLI in JavaScript, but because most of the meat of the code is in the Apple script and prompt, it's easily converted into other languages, or even a GUI to a certain degree. First, I created a wrapper function for our Apple script that essentially automates running the OSIS script terminal command with our Apple script input. Next, we establish a read evaluate print loop with Node.js's read line function. Then, a bit of code helps implement appending the user and assistant roles onto the query we input automatically. The only little caveat that we have to deal with is that occasionally there will be some form of strange hash like prefix attached to text that is returned in the end. Likely, it is an Apple Intelligence or Apple script glitch but it's nothing a little bit of text matching can't fix. And with all that, I present to you the world's first Apple intelligence powered chatbot. It's not the most elegant CLI you'll ever see, and sure, the note window popping up every single time you run a query is a bit distracting. But if Apple won't make an AI chatbot, I guess this will have to do. If you want to check out the source code, the link to the GitHub repository is in the description. This video was a ton of fun to make, and I'll be honest, I am not the most experienced with Apple script. There are definitely more efficient ways to do many of the things in this video, so if you want to improve something, feel free to submit a PR on the repo. But with that, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.